you mentioned uh, different religions have got rituals today and um, some of them took the drop the signs and you know glorify the rituals and went forward be it hinduism or anyism in your experience have you had a chance to see that science is slowly coming back to the people and they the rituals are going down i just want to get a feel on that thank you uh in general sciences are understood only as physical sciences which is a very gross way to live see the physical science has no answer for life physical science and technology can only bring comfort and convenience to your life cannot solve your life situations western societies are enough proof of this isn't it so yes they do not solve any problem of humanity they bring much more comfort and convenience to our life definitely because of science and technology we are the most comfortable generation ever on this planet isn't it so so when we say sciences let's understand sciences are also of esoteric nature sciences are not just physical but today only physical sciences are being promoted as science about or other dimensions of sciences are they coming back my whole work has been just to strive this strive for this we are bringing this inner science into people's lives it's made sufficient impact but not enough because the problem that exists in the world is too big it needs much 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 more work to make it happen it is definitely done something the sciences have been brought back at least in some minimal way to common people as they understand it even in rural villages in tamil nadu we have done this in about 1350 villages right now and uh, you see there is a change in the way they are looking at their life they are making some effort to change their living conditions which they thought is god ordained all these years they believed this is god's will this is how we are now they're making some effort to change which is the only way life can change there's no overnight solution if we work at it if our whole life if we work at it if we leave 10% change it's a tremendous thing because <laughs> social realities cannot be changed like this people have tried to change it with violent methods all you will do is you will replace one tyrant with many that's all that will happen in the name of revolutions so right now we have set forth the revolution we call this silent revolution of self realization there are banner no whenever we talk about revolution most of the time people are talking about changing somebody isn't it all the time rather see you wanting somebody else to change is not a revolution this is a age old problem mother in law wants the daughter in law to change daughter in law wants the mother in law to change isn't this an age old problem is there a revolution in it what is revolutionary about it you want somebody else to change there is no revolution about it i am willing to change this is a revolution this will bring about genuine change in the world that i am willing to change my ways to make things happen this will bring about the change so this is the silent revolution and it's a science as to how to change yourself 